fish up in the air, and here we go! You can see the soybeans are starting to turn. So with the uh, soybeans turning, you know that uh, winter's on its way. About 500 feet. We're going to go ahead and go across this big road over here. <laughs> the big two-lane road. And over, and over here for the fields. I don't see many fields that were uh, had hay in them that were cut. Looks like mostly uh, corn and soybeans. So, did some adjusting on the carburetor, did some uh, cleaning blower parts for it. Can't believe the price of jets, needles, and so forth, and floats. Floats are like $90. But uh, anything is expensive these days with this big carburetor. Looks like a pumpkin field down there. But I'm not seeing any big pumpkins. Maybe soybeans. No, it's pumpkins. There's some orange pumpkins down there. Anyway, my mixture is uh, if you turn it on a big carburetor, or at least on my unit, you turn it all the way in to the right, back it out one full turn, and then basically a quarter, which puts mine at uh, basically 12 and 6. is where I have it. Seems to be running okay. Once again, have not changed fuel. David's going to fly over to his buddy's house. I'll go ahead and follow him that way. Gain some altitude. about uh, 400 feet now. A lot of people watch uh, my channel and they ask me, what do you think about your unit? Would you buy it again? And uh, how many hours do you have on it? All sorts of questions because I think they're doing some shopping to decide whether they're going to get a unit or not. You know, I've had this thing since uh, early 2017. And, uh, you know, it's worked out okay. You know, I've had some issues, but everybody has issues, so I'm not sure, you know, what to tell you. It works for me. I'm up here flying. I've had good days, bad days. A little hazy up here. Going into the wind. We'll go down here and take a look at the pumpkins. David looks like he may be coming back this way. These look like baby pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. I wonder what the farmers get paid for a pumpkin. Do they sell it by weight or by individual or... I know it's bulk, something. Yeah, we're just kind of going into the wind, and the wind is keeping us lifted. Just over this pumpkin field. I've never seen deer out eating pumpkin. If I was a deer, I'd eat pumpkin pie. As long as it has whipped cream on it. Oh, there's a hog. 
barn over there. You just smell the hogs. Good old country living. Nice temperature, Crockett. It's about, uh, oh, it's in the 70s. Short sleeve. Shorts on. Oh, I wish I could put some smell or scent into this video because that really smells special. Looks like they run over a couple of pumpkins when they go out there. I know they're spraying the field somewhere over here, some beehives. Thought I saw some a minute ago. I don't know if you can see these pumpkins. I see them. They're all hiding underneath the leaves. I surely don't want to have an engine out onto a pumpkin. I see some smashed pumpkins. And some pretty big pumpkins. They look like uh, the Halloween pumpkin. Okay, enough of pumpkins. Okay, got to talk about them again. Let's talk about foot dragon over pumpkins. There you go. You can't see those. I'm almost at the top of these pumpkins. Probably going too fast. So it's two point, about 10 feet, 14 feet off the pumpkin, off the Charlie Brown pumpkin patch. Now we're over here in the soybeans. Uh, the first light we checked over the uh, the units, everything were running well. David uh, did a little idle adjustment on his poster. Boy, that poster is a pretty sharp little unit. Uh, really small, compact. Pretty impressive. I hope he has really good luck with it. He really enjoys flying. Next, we got to get him into a different wing. He's flying that old Eden 3. About 385 feet, doing about 23 into a light breeze. About 5,200 RPM. For you monster owners. All right, we're right up back here to the LZ. Nice flight, nice evening. We'll set it down and probably go for another flight. 